So I stirred out the day, nice and gentle. Caught nothing. Then I snapped my rod, so I had to go get this rod. So, so now that I have the Stimula by Shimano, and this is a medium light. And then I have a Daiwa Legeless L2 L LT 250D. And I have some spider wire 8 pound fluorocarbon on here. So that's the combo. And then I just have a little MEPS on. And I've caught about 10 fish already. Maybe more. Honestly, I lost track at 10, and then I probably, probably f closer to 15. If I can't catch any more off of here, and I overfished it, I'll hop in the paddle boat and. Oh, there's one. Nice little bass, chunky, it's a female. Not a big girl, but let's get her back. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh oh. There's all this gooey, all this uh, like gunk on the bottom. There's the maps I'm using, or the maps I mean. This is the maps Black Furry and Sir Truce, provided by my brother, which he sent like a giveaway package. He sent two of each, one to test and one to give away. So far, it's been working really good. The Meps is my brother's favorite lure ever. You, <laughs> I can understand why I love Meps. They're really good. They work amazing. They make a ton of different sizes, no matter if you're going for musky or you're going for a little tiny bluegill. It doesn't matter. They have something for you. You know what, I should grab the scale inside. <laughs> My brother sent me like this huge fishing giveaway, or a bunch of stuff for a fishing giveaway. Actually separate fishing giveaways or whatever. So if you want to be entered to those giveaways, save yourself some time right now, and just hit subscribe, because there are definitely giveaways to come. Oh, it's a teeny little bass. <laughs> Next thing first, I'm going to have a farm and a... That's how small this fish is. Next thing, I'm going to have a farm and I'm going to name my... I'm going to name my dog Millie. Comment down below if you get that. <laughs> that small fish. I claim my spot in the Dink Master competition. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of relax in today's video. So if I seem a little, ooh, that's a fish. I seem a tad calmer and more relaxed, that's why. Other fish right over there. Cast past him. Let that drop. And so usually if you if the fishing gets slow. Oh my gosh, did you guys just see that? That was some top water. Oh my gosh. 
That was the coolest catch from this little guy. That was seriously awesome. These guys, this is the guy that will get you. These little guys, yeah, they'll get those hooks in your hands real good. Now, I tell you this now. <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> Oh, uh, did you guys see that? I hope you guys were able to see that hit blow up. I hope you guys could see that blow up. Bye, my guy. So, a tip when you're using a, like a maps or something, whenever your tail gets done like that, just take it and kind of point it down with your hands. It's wet, so it's moldable. And make sure there's no seaweed on it, and it works a whole lot better. Just, <laughs> I was hoping get another blow up like that. I'm hoping you guys can see it. Saw that. Can see that. I hope you guys can. I hope you guys saw that. I should say. Is that strange or is that strange? I I remember somebody doing a video on this thing, but can't remember who. You can see it's it's like a hard plastic. Only writing on it says that it's made in. See, made in. France. It's made in France, and I, I would highly appreciate it if you guys could tell me what this lure actually is. What is it? That's my question. So I would highly appreciate it if you go down there and comment. So I'm gonna tie this on, and we're gonna get out there and see if we can smack some more bucket mouths. Let's do that. Okay. So. This is gonna be a challenge. This snake lure is gonna be. Oh, uh, let's see if we can catch a fish on it. First things first, what's this look like? Oh, that actually looks really good. It's like a jerk bait, but it's not a jerk bait. Does like a twitching action. I can't explain it. Well, the first flaw with it is that the hooks both can hook up. Hooks can both can like get stuck together because they're close enough. So hacked to that, I think somebody must have, either the company did this wrong or somebody changed the hooks and put too big of a hook on. So there's just gonna be, oh, that's fish. I got a fish on it. Yes, I got a fish on the snake lure. I got a fish on the snake lure. <laughs> Uh, my guy, you are a special, special fish. And any of you disbelievers, let me get you nice and close so I can actually use my shadow. There's the snake. See it right there. And there's the fish. Snake, fish. Snake, fish. Got a thumbnail. Let's get let's get him back. 
pretty guy. I'm gonna put him back right there. <laughs> okay. So maybe the snake lure is uh, the strap. I lost my train of thought. Uh, slowed down his head, so might go grab a crankbait. Whenever doing a moving lure like a chatter bait or spinner bait or maps. Try using fluorocarbon because it's totally invisible. And usually those fish are aggressive. Usually. <laughs> I can't speak today, y'all. But with that fluorocarbon, it just makes it slightly better presentation. Oh, there it is. There's another one. <laughs> uh, it's almost like I know what I'm talking about. Almost. <laughs> Three out. And there's a little chunker. <laughs> hey, we're just called fishing today. We're not saying giant fishing today. <laughs> uh, bye, my guy. Wash all that fishiness off your hands. Keeps your gear cleaner. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please go hit that like and subscribe. And next to that, hit the notification bell. Totally optional, but I would be so happy if you guys would just go do that for me. I mean, if you don't, it's totally optional. But... Anyways, God bless. See you guys next time.